Welcome to the project demonstration of human following robots. So in this project we are going to identify the human presence with the help of this Pi camera and the image processing will be done in our Raspberry Pi 3 in a tensor flow. So there we have loaded with the predefined model search and based on that model given inside this Python OpenCV language the microcontroller uh, Raspberry Pi will find the human presence in front of this robot section and it will check the next the position of the human presence the left side or right side the front side and we are going to dividing them in pixel wise and based on that human presence inside in a screen then the robot will be controlled by the control in the direction of this robot with the help of the two DC motors and do these two DC motors controlling through this L293D motor driver and uh, there is a one ultrasonic sensor there are two uh, options to stop this vehicle whenever we reach near to the person the image processing will itself identify the human is in in front of the screen and near to that the because is going to identify the distance also and also we are going to identify the distance from the sr04 there are the two conditions whenever obstacle is present automatically the robot will stop moving and whenever the person is near to this robot when the robot is approached to the target then automatically the robot will stop moving so ultrasonic sensor will be uh, sensor distance will be displayed continuously on this LCD screen also we can see the status whether is a direction of this robot is left right or forward or it's close to the target and there we are uh, using the two batteries so one is a battery pack of this black color one so this is a battery pack of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are connected in series we will get 12 volt 1 amp and uh, this power supply is for our L293D motor driver for the motor section and there is a one more power bank of 10,000 mAh uh, 5 volt power bank uh, this is the output to the Raspberry Pi 3 so here we can see this is the on off switch for the motors it should be off state and if you want to on the Raspberry Pi just we need to connect this USB cable hit this section and next these two are the rechargeable batteries if you want to charge our 12 volt 1 amp battery this is a charger so then check it clearly so here we need to connect the transformer T to the T section right T to the T here and uh, B to the battery right so now switch on the power supply the transformer will uh, convert to the 2 volts AC to 12 volts AC and then this charge circuit will convert 12 volts AC to 12 volts DC so now there is a early indication it will take at least 8 hours to be fully charged after that time completes you can disconnect the battery from here and you can switch off the charger and another as we know that this power bank can be recharged by using the uh, micro USB B type so directly just connect this sorry yeah right connect it here slowly okay and now this light is continuously on means this battery got fully charged when it blinks it's indicated as the battery is charging blinks charging continuously on it's fully charged right it's fully charged now so next I'm disconnecting that and next let us see the demonstration so here are some conditions before switching on this kit for the demonstration so in your Android mobile phone, go to the hotspot settings of your phone. Change the hotspot name to project, all are small letters without any capital letter and without any space. Only P-R-O-J-E-C-T and a password 129 and then after install network analyzer application and now on the hotspot. Right. So after I'm as I'm on, uh, on the hotspot in my phone. Right. So from which I'm taking the video. So I have an iPhone, another phone. So in this one, I can't show you the hotspot settings and all, right? And the next, after that, scan in network analyzer app. So go to the network analyzer app, and there is an option section, and do the scan. There we can get the Raspberry Pi IP address. So in my case, I got this IP address. Okay. So now I'm switching on the main power supply to this, right? and next you can switch on this that we can see one light is going to be on on this camera you can see the raspberry pi is connected in your phone also right 
right and now here so if you want to demonstrate another pro another mobile phone just it should be connected to the same network so right so the password is as we know that one two three four five five eight, 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 nine. join you know these two should be in same network right now it's connected and uh, as we said my ip address is 192.168.74.59 and is very important is colon 5000 right go right so now when it is loading page it's indicated as it's going to be connecting after loading the page from your phone only it will start recognizing the human presence so till the human presence is coming in front of this camera then the video will not be loaded so now let us see on the floor so now when i come in front of the camera robots so it starts streaming and so we can see the person detected So it will always keep the person middle of the screen. So you can see that. So as obstacle is detected in front of that, so it stop moving. So let us skip in another dimension. So it's reached to me at the two feet of distance it stops over there right whenever I'm removing the obstacle it stops moving again right thank you